Jumbo, fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley here for another spiritual tune-up. Woo, what a doozy yesterday, reading all of the comments. Oh my gosh, so many people have in, encountered so much loss. Uh, my heart is open to you. I salute you. You never know what other people are going through, and sometimes uh, they keep it all inside. Uh, so for those of you who are who are dealing with grief, my, I love you, and you're not alone. All right, today's topic, to try to mix it up a little bit, enlighten um, the message, how does manifesting interplay with lessons we need to learn? Now, this is an area where I know from all the talks I've given to all the people I've met that there tends to be a misunderstanding of what lessons are and therefore a giving away of one's power. So I have a lot to share here. The first answer to that question is like, the interplay is not what you think it is. God's not up there giving tests. There's no such thing as tests. And neither did we sign up to learn a bunch of lessons that are on the docket that are gonna interfere with us creating our own reality. No. But to put a twist on this, of all of the lessons that we came here to learn, that we want to learn, being an awesome manifester is probably numero uno. Not because it's all about bringing stuff into our lives. Think about what manifesting does. Manifesting means deliberate conscious creation. And you can bring that to love relationships, self-confidence, creativity, all things wonderful. If you can get a handle on manifesting, you can write your own ticket day after day after day. And when you stub your toe through misunderstandings, which brings about a need for lessons, the best way to get to the truth is start moving towards creating the change that will please you. And then you will learn of your power. You will learn of your mistakes and your folly. You'll see what you misunderstood. Game on. All because of manifesting. All because of this implication that you can change those things that you don't like. That's why we're here. Significantly. To adventure and follow our hearts is number one. But we didn't come here to be knocked down and batted about by life. We came here to, to have as much fun and be in as much love as possible. And nothing will help you more than realizing the truth, which will set you free, put you on your throne, and empower you to change the things you don't like, move towards new adventures, chart your own course, go within, be led by truth. Okay, so... so they're not mutually exclusive. Do I become a great manifester or do I learn my lessons? And if I have to learn my lessons, is that going to get in? Number one lesson is be a great manifester. Not just for the material angle, but for the spiritual angle. But now let me talk about lessons because so often they're misunderstood. I've already said in this tune-up and many times before, the divine does not give tests. I'm glad the questioner didn't go there because uh, I'd have to spend more time on that. But there's no tests. You are of the divine. You came here to rock and roll. You came here to see what would happen if you were a little bit of this and a little bit of that and left brain, right brain mixture. Let's, let's get it on. So, so there's no tests. What happens when we get it on? And we start moving over here expecting a manifestation or hoping for a certain outcome um, and we don't get it, we're like, hmm, what, what was I missing? Hmm, I mean, I thought God was angry and people were jerks, but I want to be happy. Oh, this is not a good equation. Maybe God's not angry. Maybe people aren't jerks. Maybe I still can be happy if I straighten out the wires. Oh my gosh, if I learn this lesson, I'm good to go on that topic for eternity. I want to learn. I want to learn. So, neither are we here because we have to learn lessons? So number one, there's no tests. There's just adventure. And when we stub our toes, we learn. And number two, 
the lessons are not, okay, first you must be selfless and then you must be generous and then you must be um, grateful and then you must be, <sighs> nobody would go to that kind of silly school. We're here for the whole enchilada, love and dreams come true. And in that journey, like I just said, if we have confusion and misunderstand truth, there will be hiccups, backfires, ricochets, oh my gods, until we clear away the confusion, aka learn lessons that cropped up during the adventure. If you're not grateful and you're the opposite of feeling gratitude, um, you're not appreciative. You're not seeing the good. You're focusing on the bad. Oh, there's a lesson to learn. Now, somebody might skip that and be grateful from day one. We don't all have the same things that we have to go through. By understanding this, you then realize it's not like you master one lesson and then God shows up and puts another roadblock in front of you until you learn this lesson. There's no such thing. No such thing. Anybody can begin living in truth, in the light, surrounded and feeling the love without stubbing their toes and falling down. And so think not that life is a series of lessons. Again, that would just suck. We wouldn't come here if that's what life was all about. It's a series of adventures where the faster we choose to learn through introspection, the higher we get to the top of the mountain. And actually, we do get to a place where there's upward spirals and there's fewer and fewer and fewer lessons to learn. So don't be thinking, oh, it's just one, one thing after another. No, it is not. It's never been that. Yeah, we're still here in the dark at a very primitive time in the evolution of consciousness. So we stub our toes a lot. But still, even in the dark, even in our ignorance, we have a lot of fun, okay? And there's a lot of love and we're being pushed on to greatness. And if we stop struggling and get out of our own way, wow, man, things just take off so quickly. So you're not limited by this concept of lessons. They don't contradict you being a deliberate manifester. There's not a an infinite number of these lessons coming down the pike. You can learn sometimes as much in one day as the former you or somebody else might learn in three lifetimes. One day you might learn the lessons of three lifetimes. It's how open can you, how much can you open your heart and your mind? How much can you self-reflect? How much can you say to yourself every time you stub your toe, I'm misunderstanding something and I'm gonna figure out what that is. Oh man, to the top of the pyramid, my friend. Go directly to go and collect $200. Life is beautiful. And again, when you understand the nature of life as being one big adventure, you want to learn. You want to get these hurdles out of the way. You're like, bring it on. Bring. I thought I was perfect, but I see there's a chink in my armor. Bring it on. This is so much fun. I'm going to learn this, that, and the other and live happily ever after, which is your destiny. Thank you, everybody, for allowing me to do these things. Uh, comments, questions, engagement, sharing, stars below. Make this possible. Please tell your friends about it. Um, and ask your questions below on Facebook, or below on Instagram. That's where I get my talking points. And uh, I look forward to tomorrow morning. Winnie on Facebook, Sheila, Nina, Lisa, Utara, Kathy, Susan, Angel, thank you for being here. Thank you for the hearts, everybody on Instagram. Autism Fit Mom, you are. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Unity Chick, that's got to be a good thing. Spirit Mentality, love my Instagram handles here. Katie, Cosmic Bliss, see what I'm talking about? See you tomorrow. Love from Orlando. Up, oh, up, oh, and Facebook is still there.